Welcome back. You're watching Aussie and TV News. And now the free flow of skilled labor that will come into effect as part of the creation of the Aussie economic community could create all sorts of opportunities for the people of Southeast Asia. In this next report, we take a look at how some have perceived this aspect of regional integration in the hospitality and tourism industry. More in this report. Making up the bed, this housekeeper is busily spreading the sheets evenly across the mattress and neatly tucking in the corners to get this room ready for the next guest at this Bangkok hotel. After decades of being a world-renowned tourist destination, the standard of services and hospitality in the city of Bangkok, while varies according to the price range, have to be well maintained to continue attracting tourists from all over the world, particularly as ASEAN aimed to boost the region's tourism industry by 2015 through the liberalization of investment and skilled labor market. The free flow of skilled labor through the formation of the ASEAN Economic Community in 2015 will go a long way in enhancing the existing capacity of this region's tourism industries in welcoming and catering for foreign tourists. At the same time, it will provide more opportunity for the workers and the people within this industry as well. Keenly aware of this opportunity, 24-year-old Monoram Eng from Siem Reap, Cambodia, who dreams of one day owning a resort in his hometown, came to study hospitality and tourism at Thailand's Thrikit Bandit University to familiarize himself with international standards of services and gain hands-on experiences. If I can, I, I, want, to, I want to run my own business in, as hotel, hotel manager or my own hotel. But if I can't, I just work for other people that work in a hotel, or it can be I want to be a lecturer in hospitality and tourism. I think they, they can uh, produce more human resources in, in the regions because like, some, some countries like Laos, Cambodia and Vietnam, they have very low human resources. So if they can come to Thai, Thailand or it can be Singapore or Malaysia, they can uh, upgrade their human resource management and, and then they can work with other, other hotel chain, international hotel chains and then the, the, re, the revenue for the, the people, the local people will be increased. Monoram's friend, Vanny Huok, knows that his training here will increase his chances to compete in the expanded ASEAN hospitality market after 2015 and beyond. In the, in the next five years, we will have one big community that uh, all the ten countries will join hand together to develop the economy. So I can say the boom of economies will be broader, wider. It means like more hotels, more over service industry, business, and other companies from international business and national business. So I can say there's a lot of job waiting for us in the next five years. Already possessed with many world-class tourist destinations, Southeast Asian tourism stands to benefit from more professionalism, proper trainings and experiences that will be boosted by regional integration. Hopefully, through this process, the hopes and dreams of young people like Monoram and Vani will be realized as well. I'm Panuk Wong Shi um of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV.